Some churches have steeples, and that's the sign of Baal, the phallic symbol, or the male deity. And then, of course, there are churches that will have a sign of a female deity and not have a steeple, but have a breast or a womb. And this complements the steeples in town so that in the spiritual realm there's the male, the steeple, and the female, or the dome. And these two complement each other in the spiritual demonic realm, representing those deities that are expressly male with the steeple, and those deities which are expressly female with the breast. So as you look around in your town, you will see churches that have steeples representing the male and you will see some churches that will have a dome representing the female. Thus, in the world of Gnosticism or secret cults, there's the principle of duality, the female and the male complementing each other to form one power in the world. Again, this is all hidden to the average church attender. This is all hidden to the public. And the public would not really believe any of this, that these realities exist in the spiritual realm. Remember, Paul tells us that we fight not against flesh and blood, but of powers and principalities, rulers of the darkness. And these rulers have visible manifestations in our world. The visible manifestations, unfortunately, sometimes rest on top of churches where maybe you attend or I attend or maybe other folks attend in this world, not realizing that behind the architecture is the secret world of the occult and Gnosticism. Please do not let this mean that if you're in a church that has a steeple or has a dome on top of it, that it means you serve the devil or it means necessarily your pastor serves the devil. It just simply means that the devil likes to put his handprint on this world. The devil, in a sense, like an animal, likes to mark his territory. And the devil does want to get into organized churches. And the devil does want to get hold of preachers and pastors. And the devil does want to get hold of those who attend churches. But be aware that spiritual realities are all around you. It's just that in your mind, you do not want to see them. And if someone does point them out to you, you most likely will have what's called cognitive dissonance, which means you can't have two opposing things in your mind. Unfortunately, you'll stay with that which you've always been taught, and you won't let go and listen to some of these things that sound a little bit crazy or a little bit out of the ordinary. I know because I was a person who really didn't listen too much to things like that, but now I know better thanks to being awakened by the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit who regenerated my spirit and brought me closer to our Heavenly Father through His Son, the Lord Jesus. And may the Lord Jesus be praised in this video and in any video that I do. To Him be all honor and glory and praise. Amen.